I do my man Idris like that? Come on, man. Hey everyone, it's Sharonda from Pay or Wait. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing Cats, which is directed by Tom Hooper, who you may know from directing films such as Lake Miz, The Danish Girl, The King's Speech. And this film stars Taylor Swift, Idris Elba, Jennifer Hudson, a whole bunch of people. Like, I can't even go through all of these names. Go look it up on IMDb. Everybody in the Baby Mama is basically in this film. And so this film is actually um, adapted from the Broadway musical Cats um, by Andrew Lloyd Webber, and which was actually based on um, a book of poems by T.S. Eliot. I think it was called Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. Um, that is actually what this was, um, how this musical came to be what it was inspired by and so um, for those of you who are new to my channel welcome I tell you what I liked about the film what I didn't like about the film and should you pay or wait to see this film in theaters so before I even get into what I enjoyed about this film when I first heard that they were doing a cats okay I was just like why and not because I don't love the music from Cats because I actually used to always play um, some of the songs from Cats for my piano recital, like Memory, that go hard. Like we go we go way back with Memory. I'm sure my mother is annoyed by that song because that's how much I used to play it in every recital. But it's just a play that really doesn't have that much of a plot. And the best way that I can sum up Cats for you is just basically it's a group of cats they all come back once a year, okay? And so they trying to get chose. If there's someone trying to get chose to have the glow up of the year to become this like new jellical life, this new cats, okay? And so that's essentially what this movie is about. That's what Cats is about. It's a lot of musical numbers <clears throat> and not a ton of dialogue. So that's why I was really perplexed when they announced Cats. I was just like, this is such a hard play to try to turn into a movie because it ain't nothing for them to talk about outside of just singing their songs. And so that's why I was just weirded out to begin with. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to go in with an open mind because I love musicals and I love the music from Cats. So I was just like, I'm going to give this a chance. So that's just like the precursor. So let's go into the what I enjoyed about this movie, which isn't a lot. So first and foremost, I will have to say this movie works the best when it's the ensemble as a whole, mainly for the big production dance numbers. Um, a lot of this is really the dancing and also to the singing. And I think that Francesca, um, <clears throat> Francesca Hayward, she does a really great job. So she's a principal dancer for the Royal Ballet. And so I really enjoyed her character, which is a character that really doesn't have that much to do. Um, but they tried to beef her role up a little bit more for this film. And I really did enjoy her presence. More importantly, I love when she's danced. She's such a great dancer. She was very fun to just look at her movements. I just thought that she did a really great job even expressing the emotion on her face throughout the course of the film. Now also too, I gotta talk about my man Idris, okay? And so he gonna be in the pros and the cons, but we're gonna talk about the good things. I really enjoyed him as McCavity. And I felt as though he was having a lot of fun with his role. He was taking it very seriously. And I was just like, Idris, yes. I know the contexts are a little creepy, but I'm here for this. Like, I'm, I'm feeling this, this villain look on you, yes. And also, too, Jennifer Hudson. <clears throat> I thought she does a good job as um, Grisabella. Of course, she was singing my song, Memory. So, of course, I had to enjoy her um, the most in this film. Um, but I would say, we'll say that for the cons. Actually, no, I can talk about that now. Even though I did enjoy her and I felt like you could really sense the emotion um, that she was basically emoting throughout the course of the film, it did kind of become a bit of a one note. Like, girl, we get it. You depressed. But I was just like, just give me something a little bit more, something to set your, your portrayal of this character apart. But I did enjoy her singing for the song, even though in some parts she does over sing it a little bit. Um, but overall, I really felt as though, um, especially Jennifer and also to uh, Jennifer, Francesca and Idris, they were very committed to their roles. And not necessarily as if no one else was committed to what they were doing, but they did a very great job of <clears throat> being committed and also selling the role at the same time so I think that's pretty much everything that I actually enjoyed about cats let's get into some of the cons that I have about it and so this brings me to one of my main issues that I have in Hollywood right now and it seems as though 
when they cast for films, it's more about who's going to put people in seats. And I understand that we have to make money in order to make sure that, you know, these projects were worth it. However, if we're in a, doing a film like Cats, where it's based off of a hit Broadway musical, and so the music was very important to me. That was one of the main reasons why I wanted to go see it, was to kind of listen to all these songs that I absolutely adore and love. And for me, I felt as though that a lot of the cast, they just couldn't do it. I felt as though that the performances themselves, when it comes to singing these classic songs, they really fell flat for me. And for the most part, I was just sitting in the movie with a blank stare like, no, this isn't working. Like, I don't know why they couldn't find people who had a theater background, even though some of the characters, some of the actors in this film, they do have both the acting and the um, theater backgrounds. But I feel like for a lot of these numbers, it just didn't hit for me. Like, honestly, I just was like, I would rather just go back and listen to the Broadway album and just be content with that. And also too, another thing that bothers, bothered me in Cats um, what were the performances um, with Rebel Wilson and James um, Corden? And I just felt as though that I want better for them in 2020. I want Rebel and James to do films because James is a really great singer. Um, I don't know if you guys saw Into the Woods. He actually has a background in singing. And so I just felt a little let down by his number. And I felt as though Rebel Wilson, she has just become a one note actress. It's the same thing every role. And I was like, hey, she's a cat this time. Maybe she'll give me something different. But no, like I understand you might think that being overweight is funny. I don't. Sometimes it may work in certain films, but for me, I was just like, boo boo, I didn't see this 15 million times. You're not tired of playing the same character, matter if you're a human or a cat. It was just like, she just wasn't needed for this film. And I really didn't feel connected to um, James Corden's performance. Not that I don't like him as an actor. I just want more for them in 2020. I want them to do better. I want them to have growth. That's what I need from them. Now, let's get on these effects. Now, while I appreciate them for trying to take a chance, trying to do something different um, with the VX, um, VFX effects with the faces. I felt disconnected because it seems as though while watching the film, they put a lot of uh, thought and effort into the main characters. But then I would look at some of the background characters and I'm just like, did y'all like just say, oh, they're not going to pay attention to them. So we don't have to do all of this for them because I noticed it. And the leotards. This one gets into my issue with Idris, baby. He was fine when he had that coat on the entire movie, but when he took that coat off, I said, y'all, you really gonna disrespect this man like this with this raggedy leotard? Like, that's what we're doing? You guys did all of these effects, but then everyone just looked like they were wearing a cheap leotard with like all these special effects on their face. And so it just really took me out of it. I was just like, y'all didn't have enough budget to try to like put some effort into their costumes as well. I just, mm, mm -mm. it just didn't do it for me, you guys. And then also with that, um, with Idris' character, I was like, okay, I see that he's trying to dance and I love Idris, but he can't dance like that. And so this goes into witnessing or understanding and recognizing the actor's strengths and weaknesses. Some of these actors, you can tell they can't dance, so they don't need to be doing that. I just feel as though they put all these people in these roles and was like, ooh, this is an A-list celebrity. That's an A-list celebrity. We're gonna make all the money. No, boo-boo, because it didn't work for everyone. And so I think for me, really coming out of it, I only really enjoyed like three of the songs in Cats. Uh, Mr. Mistopheles, Memory, even McCafferty, McCafferty. I actually like Tay-Tay. She's not in this a whole lot. So for all you Taylor Swift fans who think you about to get like all this like Taylor throughout the course of the film, she's in one number, not really a part of the movie. But I did enjoy her song, McCafferty, and her rendition of it. And I guess for me, because I was more invested in the music of Cats, I just felt so disconnected. And that's why I really didn't enjoy this film. For me, I would rather go back and just listen to the original Broadway album as I have been for the past week and a half trying to prepare um, for Cats. And if I watched this on TV, I would just fast forward to the three songs that I actually like and never watch any of the other portions of this film. And because of that, what I would tell you to do with you and your coins, this is definitely a way to see, like wait for it to come out on DVD, wait for it to come in a red box. I just want to spend my precious hard-earned money during this holiday season to go see Cats. 
I think that if you're a fan of the Broadway musical, there might be some people who actually enjoy this. But for me, I'm never going to watch this movie again. I'm just going to listen to the original soundtrack. So those are pretty much my thoughts on Cats. As always, my name is Sharana from Pair of Weights. And if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and make sure you hit that notification bell. And I love you guys 3000. I'll see you soon.